Ain't my grandma cute in her Sunday outfit. Ain't my grandma cute in her Sunday outfit. Um. <laughs> Come on. Do you have a boyfriend for Valentine's Day? Me? No, me not care. Do you want me to find you a boyfriend? A what? A boyfriend. She's sick in her head. She's sick in her head, bully. You don't want a boyfriend for Valent for one day. Sick in her head, bully. Sick in her head. One day, Grandma. One day, give me a good plate of fried chicken or something. Not a boyfriend, but fried chicken? Uh, some, anything or fried chicken. Or anything. I don't care what I eat. You want food, no man. Mm -hmm. All right. Food. <laughs> Food over boys. <laughs> <laughs>
41 and it's just glitter. This is not a dip acrylic or a dip powder. It's just raw glitter. Look how pretty that is. And that's like a red. I don't know what color is showing up for you guys per se, but for me, it's like a nice dark, dark red. So maybe I will use this in the set. I don't know yet. I'm doing my niece's nails. So I'm going to have to take her input into consideration a little bit. And I don't know exactly what we're going to do. It's going to be a freestyle. <laughs> it's going to be a freestyle. Um, and yeah, we'll see. You guys just have to wait to the end of the video to see what I'm going to do. All right. And so, and then they also sent me that little cute little spoon. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I'm going to use that spoon in the video today. So I have the lights back on and this is what everything looks like. Now, here is my swatch tree. And on my swatch tree are all my sparkling co dip colors that they have sent me over the past few months. And I am looking for a purple. So I need a purple. I need a purple. I need a purple. And I know I have one somewhere. Just trying to look at all those reds. I have a bunch of reds, right? All right, so here, here is a purple. Here is a purple. So let's see, do I have any more purples? Mm, I think this one is going to go the best with that pink. What do you guys think? And it also kind of goes with the red too. Eh, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Let me know below, guys, if you think that is a good color combination. So it is color number 76. So let me grab that. Here's what it looks like. Supernova glow, baby. Let's give her a little open. Ooh, so pretty, right? Okay, so that is the purple that we're gonna use. So now I have my colors. I have my pink, I have my red, I have my purple. Let me show you guys again. So 65, 76, and 137. I feel like I'm calling numbers for bingo or the lotto, but <laughs> these are the three colors that I'm gonna use. There, let me show you guys the back. How stinky cute! Thinking cute is that? <laughs> All right, so let's start the prep process. I have everything that I'm gonna use. So now I am prepping my niece's nails. I am pushing back her cuticles. Nothing new here. Once her cuticles are pushed back, I'm going in with the e file and I'm just going to remove the rest of the dead skin, the rest of the cuticles, and I am removing the shine from the nail plate. So the grit that I am using is about a hundred so it's 100 grit and i had it on a low speed of four i'm putting on gloves right now because i really like my nails y'all i really love this blue it's a very simple look but i really like it and i've been getting a lot of compliments on it and every time i do nails i always mess my nails up some way i get glitter on it i scratch the surface of the top coat like I always ruin my nails, so I just decided to put gloves on so that to protect my nails. I will leave a link in the description box below so that way you guys can watch. You can see me do these nails. They were so quick and so easy, and it was some new products that I tried. The blue that I have on my nails is from a company I have never heard of before, um, but they sent me some things to try, and I absolutely loved it. So I will leave a link below. Catch that video. It's a fun video, and like I said, the blue and the glitter is absolutely gorgeous. I'm covering it up to protect it. All right, so. I'm just buffing off the shine. Like I said, the grit that I'm using is 100, so it's not too coarse, it's not too mild. I'm really trying to remove the surface shine, remove the dead skin, and make sure that the cuticle is removed. And the speed is on four, so it's very low. If I get close to her skin or anything like that, it won't cut her. I know when I did a one-on-one -on -one session, that the person that I was talking to, first of all, if you're watching, hey girl, hey, I ain't gonna put your name out there, but hey girl, hey. <laughs> um, she was concerned with what speed to use and when. And it's hard for me to tell you what speed to use unless we have the exact same drill because my speed four might feel differently than your speed four if we're not using the same drill. So it was very hard for me to get that through on camera and not being face to face with the person so that I could actually hold her drill and feel it and see how fast it was going and things like that. Um, but you basically just want it to be low enough that if you 
touch the skin with it, which is a possibility, it won't cut, do harm or damage or anything like that. So for me and this drill, um, level four works great. Okay, so that is that. Now I am using gel polish, the gel polish from Sparkling Co. I am using that to glue on my tips. Yes. Now you guys have seen me do this before, but all you do is you take your little gel polish. Any base coat polish will work. I just happen to be using Sparkling Co. today, okay? So basically you put the gel polish in the well of the nail tip. You grab a cute little portable lamp, just like this one. This one happens to be from the puddle. Isn't that stinking cute? Isn't that adorable? So anyway, all you do is have a cute little lamp handy and you flash cure it for about 10 seconds. You do that to all the nails. Once all the nails are on and dried for 10 seconds, you put it in a big regular lamp, 24 watt lamp or higher and cure the full thing for 60 seconds, okay? So you um, just, just say it again, say it again because I know somebody's gonna ask. You put the gel polish on the nail tip, you put the nail tip on the nail, you flash cure it for 10 seconds. That's just to give it a little bit of hold while you move on to the next nail. Once all five nails are on, you fully cure it in the lamp and a full cure is 60 seconds, okay? I personally prefer 24 watt or higher, but whatever you have, guys, you know what I always say, you just gotta make it work, right? So anyway, after you cure all the nails for 60 seconds, then you treat it like a regular nail. So I cut the tips to the shape that she wanted, and now I'm just doing a little bit of pre-filing, just like you would if you put the tips on with glue, okay? So pretty much that is all I did there. And now I'm just dusting off all that dust and filing that I created. And once that is done, we go in with our primer. The primer that I'm using is the one that I personally sell. Link to all my little goodies will be in the description box below. Support your girl, support your girl. Okay, so the primer has dried and we are going to start the dipping process. So I am going to use Sparkling Co. Base Coat Gel is very nice thick, creamy. I love it. And I am going to use the almond stiletto clear acrylic that I sell. Again, link will be in the description box below. So here we go. I am just going to do a base coat of gel polish, y'all. This is nothing fancy. This is standard. <laughs> like, There's nothing crazy going on here. Just a regular coat of base polish. So I'm going to speed that up. Okay, so now, now that we're just doing some basic little gel polish at this point, let's start talking about the collab. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to put up pictures of the art that you guys sent me. And yes, this is art. This is definitely art. So we're gonna pretend like we're in a museum and I'm gonna put the pictures up. I'm going to put the person's name under it so you guys can know who the awesome artist was and then in the comment section below we could talk about the art so you could say I really like Regina's nails because Regina does she did send me some beautiful nail work y'all her nail work is beautiful so anyway you could say oh my god Regina's nail work was just gorgeous I really loved xyz about it right but I only want good comments below if you don't have anything nice to say don't even bother fixing your little nasty, ugly fingers to type it because I don't want to read it. I don't want to read it. I don't want to read anything negative. This is not, we're not here for that, okay? We're not going to nail shame anybody's work. So if you have something nice to say, please, please, please share it so that we can encourage everybody to just keep on going, keep on working and things like that. Um, again, if you don't have anything nice to say, then keep it to yourself, okay? Okay. So really, really quick, before I before I put my first picture up, I just want to point out, all I did here was apply the base coat to half the nail. I applied the base coat to half the nail and I put powder on it. That's it. So now I'm going to put her hand into the lamp to let it cure for 10 seconds, put that out the lamp, and now I'm going to do the thumb. The reason why I... And waiting for the thumb or doing the thumb last is because every time, y'all, every time I flip the hand over to do the thumb, I mess up the pinky. So all I did was flash cure the nails for 10 seconds to hold it in place 
while I do the thumb. And then after I do the thumb, I'm going to cure all the nails for a full 60 seconds, okay? So in case you guys are new to dip and you're like, well, what the heck? Why did she leave the thumb out? That is why. Um, feel free to take that tip and run with it or don't use it at all. <laughs> it's totally up to you. So now she's going into the lamp for a full 60 seconds. And I popped her out the lamp and I'm just taking my beautiful rose brush. This brush is like perfect for Valentine's Day, right? Because it's a rose, right? Beautiful. So the first time I applied the gel polish to half the nail, half of the nail plate down to the tip and I added powder. Now I'm going from the cuticle area of the nail down to the free edge or the tip. So now I'm covering the full nail. So the first time was... <laughs> I have to repeat it because I know it's a beginner watching in such confusion. So the first time was halfway the nail plate to the tip, right? The second time is going to be the full nail. And that's just to give it a nice thickness, but not making the cuticle area too thick and bulky. So that's why I do it this way. Okay, feel free to do whatever makes your little heart happy. If this is like way too confusing for you, you don't have to do it like this. But I would suggest because it does come out really, really nice when you do it like this. I would suggest maybe rewinding it and watching it again and then it'll click at some point. Okay, so finally, finally, here is my first picture. Dun, 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 dun! So I decided to start with Regina Nails. Regina said when she found out that I was doing a collab, she did her nails. Uh, like, I want to say she did these nails like a whole month ago because she said, I am not missing the train. She said, Nikki, I missed your last collab. I am not missing this collab. Regina had them nails done and ready, honey. Okay, so I had to have hers go first. Regina said, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Not this time, honey. So she sent me the nails super early. I freaking love, I, I love them. I love everything about them. And I love the presentation of it. I love the fact that she, oh my God, like, I don't know where her practice hand is going. First of all, what is the name of your practice hand? What is the name? We have to give her a name for this video. Let's call her Sassy, Sassy Pants. Okay. So I don't know where Miss Sassy Pants is going, but she is ready. She has one of her jewelry, honey. She has a whole pearl necklace. Where are you going for Valentine's Day? I don't know, but it's somewhere good. I can tell. It's is somewhere like rich and posh and upscale. These nails are so stinking cute. Let me know what you guys think of Regina's nails in the description box below. What is your favorite finger? Which one is your favorite finger? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the middle finger because it has like the pink, the red, and the purple. Like you could see all the colors that you were supposed to use in the collab, you could see it in the middle finger. So that is my favorite finger. All right, let me know what you guys think below because it was a toss up between the middle finger and the stripe finger because the stripe one looked like it was hard to execute. It looked like she put a lot of thought into that. So yeah, it was a tie between those two, but then I ended up picking up the middle finger instead. Okay, so before I show you guys another picture, let me talk you through my nail art. Now you guys have seen me do a dip powder ombre before in the past, but in case you guys are new here, I will walk you through that and then I'll toss up another picture. So I'm taking that same gel base coat polish and I'm doing a nice even coat on the nail. You want it to be nice and even because once you add the powder if your gel polish was applied too thick or lumpy then the acrylic will go on very lumpy and bumpy and uneven and you'll have a lot of finish filing to do in the end so just take your time there all right so now that the gel polish is on remember I did not cure it it did not go in the lamp I am sprinkling on the color that I want so the first color that I went with was purple and I just have a regular cheap old brush nothing fancy here a makeup brush will work just fine and I'm just tapping the powder on where I want it to go and because I want it in an ombre fashion I did the purple and then I let the pink overlap that so that's all I did there super super easy super easy and quick and so now I'm moving on to the ring finger and I think the ring finger is going to be just plain like nothing fancy I'm just going to scoop on the acrylic color so let's speed that up and let's talk about some more nail art. So next up in my nail museum is Nails by Nail is what it looks like. N-A-L-E. Nails by Nail. Or maybe she pronounced it Nelly. 
which I think will be beautiful. Nails by Nelly. I like that. If that's not it, honey, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm reading it as and it sounds beautiful to me. So Nails by Nelly. I like this set because on the left, first of all, it's temperature changing. It looks like so you're giving me two different vibes and, mm, you know, I live for that. So on the left, it's a nice low key. I'm going to work kind of setting, you know, little quiet girl. And then on the right, it's like, bam, va, va, boom, honey. Give me my Valentine's Day gifts. Thank you. Oh, you don't have a gift for me? Go sit in the corner. <laughs> yes, go sit in the corner. You're on timeout. That's the vibes I'm getting from the right side. I like that. I like it. This is so cute. And it's short. So a lot of you guys out there like nice little short nails. Here is a beautiful set of short nails. So if I had to choose my favorite, I'm going to ah, uh, I'm gonna go with the bright side. The left side is cute, but the bright side, you guys know, I live for a moment, honey. I live for a moment. And the bright side is a moment. <laughs> it's a moment for me. I like it. And you could see all the color elements that we were supposed to use, which was red, purple, and pink. And you could see that in the bright side. So that is my favorite. Up next on the docket is my girl, Princess Nails by Diana Princess Nails by Diana. I always sing her name like that. It's the weirdest thing, but I just do it all the time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She probably watches it and gets so annoyed with me. Sorry, my love. Anyway, these are so stinking cute. And I think, okay, so she, first of all, y'all are like, honey, those are not part of the color. That ain't pink, purple, and red. I know y'all are saying that. But she did these nails before she knew that I was doing a collab. And she was like, oh my God, please, can I submit it? Blah, blah, blah. And because it's my girl, I was like, okay, send them on in. <laughs> but they're so cute. They were so cute. So I was like, fine, give me your nail art with your rule breaking ass. No, I'm kidding. She didn't break the rules because she did not know the rules when she sent me uh, the picture. So that's why. But anyway, y'all, I love the length. <laughs> Sexy long stilettos on Valentine's Day, right? Right? And they're a little dark and edgy. So that's even more hotter, right? Ooh, okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> but it is kind of hot, right? Long, sexy stiletto nails. Okay. And I like the stamping. So for me, okay. So my favorite part, I would say, my, I'm going to circle the nail that I like the best. And I like that because it's stamping and you can see the stamp clearly. And it's red, which red was one of the colors that were supposed to be used in my collab. So overall, I like the shape. I like the length. And I really like that heart. So let me circle it so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Leave your thoughts and opinions below. Let me know what you like best about her set. Do you like the length? Do you like the shape? Or do you like the art better? I like, I like all three. I really like the stamping because stamping is hard to execute. So if I had to pick, oh man, damn, this is hard. If I had to pick one thing, I would say, I'm going to say the stamping. I'm going to say the stamping because stamping is hard and it looks really good. So yeah, I would say the best thing for me that I like is that stamping, that heart. That was very nice. So that that's what I would pick. Let me know what you guys would pick. Okay, so real quick before I show you guys another picture in my nail museum. I just want to point out what I did so far in the nails. So basically the first layer of color wasn't bright enough for me. So I added a second layer of color. You do not have to add a second layer of color. If you like the way it looks with the first layer is bright and vivid enough for you and your personal taste, you do not have to go in with a second layer. I just wanted that. So I did it twice in case any of you guys were wondering, okay? Um, we just decided that the color wasn't bright enough after one time. Um, but that was that. So anyway, I did that, right? I added the second layer of color. I put that in the lamp, let it cure completely, and now I'm just doing a little bit of touch-up filing. So that's all. Okay, so now we got that straight. Let's look at some more pictures. Next up, we have Ebony Nails, Ebony Nails, Ebony Nails. That was so annoying. I'm so sorry. Okay, so first of all, I love them. I love every single one. I, I love all of these. These are dope. The little white one with those heart on it, that 
Ooh, I want to say that's my favorite, but I like the word love written on the nail for two reasons. One, because my daughter's name, her middle name is love. So Naya, the one that we call Nunu, her middle name is love. So I like that that has love on it, clearly, right? But then also I like the word love because I know how hard it is to freehand or write letters with a small, tiny little paintbrush on a small surface. So I'm loving that word and that nail for all those different elements. But I also know how hard it was to draw those hearts. <laughs> so it's so hard for me to pick a favorite. And y'all know, um, you, you know how I am about doing swirl nails. You know me and the swirl nails, you know that's my thing. So she got the swirl nail in there. She got the freehand nail art. And then she huh, and then she got the bling. And she got all the colors. Mama, Ebony, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so my favorite. Oh, my gosh. Damn. My favorite would be. I'm going to say. The white one with the hearts. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say the white one with the heart. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because it looked like it was hard to do, mama. That looked hard to do. And you did it nicely. <laughs> so I'm going to go with that one. That's the one I'm going to pick. <sighs> Let me know below what you guys would have picked. Let me know. Let me know what you guys would have picked. Because <laughs> it's a toss-up between that one and the word that says love. Oh, that was so hard. That was so hard, Ebony. Okay, let's see who's up next. Up next, we have Addicted to Pink Nails. So, okay, of course, her name is Addicted to Pink Nails. She has the pink background, honey. The whole base of the nail is pink. <laughs> I know she had a fun time with this collab. But then you can also see she has the red bling going around the perimeter of the nail. And then she has some nail art in purple. So she definitely used all the colors. Shout out to you. Um... God, I love the swirl nail. You guys know I love me a good swirl, honey. I love me a good swirl. So, but then she also wrote the word love too. Oh my gosh. Okay, give me a minute. God dang it. <laughs> what is my favorite nail? Um, um, <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna say my favorite. My favorite is the word love. That's my favorite nail. My favorite nail is the pointer finger with the word love on it. Because A, it's my daughter's middle name. And B, it looked like it was hard to do. <laughs> it looked like it was hard to do. So I'm going to say that is my favorite. Yes. Addicted to pink nails. Yes. Yes. That is my favorite nail. <laughs> okay. Um, who is next? Okay, before I show you another picture, I want to show you what I'm doing right now or talk about what I'm doing right now. So as you can tell, I did not use the red acrylic. It just didn't flow right with what I had in my head. So I didn't end up using it. But I found my red spider gel from Yayogi and I was like, oh great, this would be perfect. So basically you take a toothpick or a dotting tool or your fingers or whatever you have and you dip it into the gel, just like what I'm doing here, and you just wrap it around. Like, it's so simple to use. You guys have seen me use this in the past. This isn't new for a lot of you, but if it is new to you, do not be afraid of spider gel. It is the simplest nail art that you could ever do or think of. Get you some spider gel. I do have a coupon code. I'll leave that in the description box below. It is from Yayogi. This color is red, but I have so many colors of spider gel. I have... I have tons of spider gel. I really love it. So this one, you have to cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. So I went ahead, put that in the lamp for 60 seconds, let it cure. And now I'm using my base coat polish again to glue on some water decals. So I put a little bit on the pinky finger and then I went and put a little bit on the ring finger. Now I'm picking up some water decals and I'm just going to plop that right onto the nail and then put that into the lamp and let that cure as well, okay? So it was bent on the side. So you saw me struggling to kind of straighten it out and I'm just gonna put it on the nail. The good thing about doing this with gel the good thing about doing this with gel is if you put it on the nail and you don't like it, you could easily just slide it right off. You know what I mean? Like it's, you're not married to the idea because gel doesn't dry until you cure it in the lamp. So I'm just laying it on the nail. 
And then I'm going to push it around with my little tool, make sure that I get it into a spot that I like. And once we're both happy with it, stick your hand in the lamp, dry it, and you're good to go. All right, so now let's, let's pull up some more nail pictures. Next up, we have nails from Boss Queen April Ray. Hi, love. So first of all, I want to point out the fact that she got her nails on these little sticks. And I remember when I first started doing nails, y'all, if y'all go way back to my first few videos, I used popsicle sticks as like little holders, for, just like this, like just like what she's doing. I glued my nails onto like a popsicle stick. And you know, some of you guys thought that was creative and loved it and others thought that I was just cheap or ghetto or whatever. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta use what you have and that's that. So I appreciate it, honey. I appreciate that just brought me back to where I started and I love that. Y'all are like, what, girl? We ain't even talking about the nails yet. Nope, I saw them sticks, honey, and I was like, yes, yes. You, That's what I mean when I say use what you have to make it work, okay? Thank you. All right, so now let's look at this nail art. I love the fact that she used all the colors we're supposed to use. I definitely see my red. I see my pink. I see my purple. I would have to say, if I had to pick a favorite nail, I would say, first of all, that red, the one, because she has two different color reds, it looks like to me, right? The one way on the left and then the one way on the right. I like the one on the left more because it's more Valentine's red. You know what I mean? But if I had to pick a favorite nail, it would be this one right here because the lines are straight and they look, like it took some time to do, you know what I mean? So I would say that would be my favorite nail. And it has all the colors in it. It has the pink, it has the red, it has the purple. So you see all the colors in that nail and it looked like it took her some time to do it. So that would be my favorite. All right, let's see who's next. I have, first of all, thank you for writing your name on the pictures. All of you guys that wrote your own name on the picture, thank you because I'm hoping that I didn't mix up someone's nail art with their name and put the wrong name on the picture. If I did that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But for those of you who wrote your names on your art, thank you. I appreciate it. So this one is from Tabitha Cruz 29. And honey, you gave me life. You showed all the way out. You showed out. I got the long, which I like. I got the stiletto sexy long sexy stiletto nails and you got the colors girl first of all i don't even know where to begin i don't know where to be i don't know i don't know i'm lost i'm lost oh my god hold on let me come back calm, calm down calm down <laughs> calm down and come again yo i love this okay what will be my favorite oh my god okay hold on y'all <laughs> hold on i'm so confused i don't know which one to pick Okay, here's what I'm tossed up between. First of all, the color purple is gorgeous, honey. The color purple is gorgeous. My favorite would be, it's truly a toss up between the red nails. Like you see how the two come together to make the heart. Love, okay. So it's a toss up between that one and the ring finger because I love that. It looks like she has some stamp art on there and then maybe some free hand art. On okay, I'm gonna go with the ring finger. I'm gonna go with the ring finger. One, because it has all the colors on there. You got the pink, you got the purple and the red, okay? And it looks like it was very like hard to do. Not hard in the sense like, oh my God, I, I can't even do that. I don't know how she did it. But hard in the sense of, it looked like it took her some thinking, some creativity, and she put it together, and I really like that. I really like that nail. So, oh my gosh, the red with the bling heart, I love you. <laughs> the ring finger, I'm gonna pick you. I'm standing by my decision, y'all. I'm standing by my decision to pick the ring finger. Feel free to disagree in the comments below. Let me know what you would have picked and why. Okay, let's see who's next. Up next, we have my girl, Shantae Nails. Hey, Shantae, how are you, my love? First of all, before we even get into the nail art, let's talk about the background that she chose, that white, fluffy background. I'm living for that. I love that. And as a matter of fact, I might copy. So <laughs> no shame in my game, y'all. Okay, so now let's talk about the nail art. I freaking love, I love the pink that you chose. And I also like the fact that these nails could be worn anytime, like, 
of course they look like they're valentine's nails because of the color scheme but also you can wear these nails anytime like it doesn't look like it's married to any particular theme which i like that means that these nails are versatile and i like that i love 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 that so my favorite did i say i love that pink i don't know if i said that already <laughs> If I did not say it already, I'm saying it now. And if I said it already, I'm saying it again. That pink is gorgeous. Um, ooh, my favorite would be, so it looks like the pointer and the ring finger are the same. So that's, that's good. That's less for me to have to pick from. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say the ring or the pointer. I like that. I like how it was an ombre fade into the hearts. I think that is beautiful. I think that was an ombre fade into these hearts, which came out gorgeous. And then she threw in a little bit of glitter to separate it a little more and make it pop. I like that. I like that a lot. That was very beautiful and creative. Thumbs up to you. And again, that pink is gorgeous, I want to say. And where the hell did you find those hearts? I was looking for heart glitter and I did not find any heart glitter. So tell me, please, where you found that glitter. Thank you, Shantae. Thank you. Please help your girl out. All right, let's see who's next. All right, up next we have Vicky at Glitter Sparkle Nail Design. And I, oh my God. I, uh, <laughs> I freaking love this. I love the fact, okay, okay, let's just start nail by nail because this there's a lot going on here in a very good way. So I like the two end nails because they're, first of all, they're long and they're stiletto, okay? Sexy, okay? So they're sexy. And then you have the bling. <laughs> High five for the bling. I like the fact that she did red with white hearts and white with red hearts. And it looks like these hearts were freehand. That's hard to do, y'all. Like, it's not easy to freehand, especially not for me. So whenever I see somebody doing freehand art like that, oh my God, I just, I, I love it. I, I look at the fact that Wow, that took a lot of creativity and wow, that took time and patience and I like it. That's what I see when I'm looking at this art. I'm looking at how beautiful it is, but I'm also looking at the time that it would have taken me to A, come up with the concept and then B, executing it. And it seems like I would have messed up a few times and some hearts wouldn't have been even and I would have just been like, okay, maybe we just do two hearts. <laughs> instead of a whole nail of hearts maybe we just do two you know I feel like that's where I would have went with it but the fact that she was able to do a whole nail of hearts and they look beautiful and uniform and then she did it again on another nail I say like oh girl pat on the back I think that was absolutely gorgeous the glitter nail in the middle is really pretty as well um but not to take anything away from that my favorite would have to be one of the two with the hearts. And if I had to pick between them two, I would say the white with the red hearts on it because it just pops out more to me. Personally, that's what I, like, that would be my favorite. Let me know what you guys think. Th that's a hard one. I know. Vicky, girl, huh? you made it hard for the nail crew to choose, but I picked my fave. Let me know what your fave is. Okay, let's see who's next. Up next, we have Lewis's Nail Room. So what I like, what I like is that this was very out the box. You cannot look at these nails and necessarily tell that they were Valentine's Day theme, but they definitely work because of the colors. So let's look at the pinky and the ring finger. That looks like, hmm, wait a minute. At first, at first I looked at those two fingers and I saw cheetah print. But now I'm looking again and I see kisses. Like I see lips. If it's lips, yo, that's hot. <laughs> that's sexy. You know what I mean? <laughs> if it's cheetah print, that's definitely cute too. But because this is Valentine's Day, if those are lip prints, honey, yes. <laughs> yes, boo. <laughs> so I 
like those with the thought process of kissy lips, okay? So let's just call that kissy lip nails. And then the other two I like because those look more Valentine's-ish. You got the pink, you have the purple. I don't know if that darker pink is supposed to be red and it's not picking up good on my end or if it's just like a darker pink. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. But the nail art itself is very pretty. And I cannot tell if she drew that on freehand, if it's some kind of sticker applique, or if it's like a stamp. I cannot tell. So the fact that I can't tell, it's very intriguing, you know, to look at it and you're like, wow, how did she do that? I don't know. So that's pretty cool. Louis. Let me know what how did what did you do? What did you do? Is it a sticker, an applique, a water decal? Did you freehand it? Did you did you stamp it on? What the hell did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Let me know. Also let me know. Is that kissy lips? Tell me it's kissy lips, please. Because yes, okay, yes. <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite, I'm gonna say I love the kissy lip one. Um, but because those are not the right colors for my collab, I'm going to have to go with the pointer or the middle finger because it's more close to the colors that we were supposed to use. However, wink, wink, those kissy lips are hot. That's all I got to say. Okay, let's see. Let's see who's up next. Up next, last but not least, we have Nail Designs by Denise. Hi, Denise. How are you, lovey? How are you? These nails are so cute. Okay, so we got to break these down now like everybody else, right? Oh my gosh, they're all different. So I love that. I love the colors, right? Okay. <laughs> I already know. Hmm. I have two favorites so far. I have two favorites. So the thumbnail I love, obviously, it says love. And not only does it says love, but girl, she added the little glitter on there and like really pizzazzed it out. So I love that. I, I love that. That one is, is my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite. The pointer finger, it looks like she has some purple glitter. That's all. It looks like a purple, dark purple mixed with red glitter and then some red bling around the cuticle. Now, the middle finger, I love that one too because it says kiss me. There are lips and there is bling. So on the middle finger, you have all the elements of Valentine's Day. You have just it's just I, I just like it I really like the middle finger <sighs> it is really a toss-up between the thumb and the middle finger for me on which one I love the most because both of those look hard to do it looks like the lettering was done with stamping correct me if I'm wrong but that's what it looks like and we all know how hard stamping can be Huh? especially if your name is Nikki. Hmm. <laughs> but the middle finger went a step further to add like those lips and you made the inside of the lips a different color from around the outside of the lips. That took some time and effort to do. Oh my gosh, this is such a hard decision. Okay, let's look at the ring finger. I love the ring finger because I like that big heart. I like that big red heart. That part of that finger is my favorite. And then on the pinky, I like that you have all the colors that tied in. So you have that dark purple. It looks purple, but it also looks blue. I don't know. But you have that dark purple, you have the pink, you have the red. So you have all the colors that you're supposed to have on that nail. So I really like that. But... I think my favorite, and it's really a tie, y'all. I like the thumb, and I like the middle finger the best. If I had to pick one, damn it, y'all. If I had to pick one, I know y'all are going to beat me up, but I love the middle finger. I love it because it looked like it was time-consuming as hell, <laughs> but it also looks very neat. Like, all the words fit on the nail. The lips fit on the nail. Like, it, it just looks nice. It just looks nice. So that one is my favorite. All right, guess what, y'all? Guess what? I found another one. Okay, so this one is the last one. Okay, for real, for real this time. I double-checked, made sure. And how could I forget this one? This one is from Pick You Color. Pick You Color. And you can find her on Instagram. I, how could, how, how did I miss this one? This one, okay. Okay, we're going to have to just break this down. This one is so sexy. This one is the sexiest set thus far. Because look at the rose petals in the back. Do y'all see the presentation that she is given? Do y'all see that? 
Look at the little ruby right there with the heart around it. Come on, mama. Come on. Don't play. Do you see the nail with the strawberry and the chocolate? chocolate dipped i'm glad i saved this one for last i'm actually glad it worked out because you gave me everything everything when i was thinking of the red purple and pink kind of combination this is it right here like i feel like she executed this better than i did and this was my collab okay honey okay mama hats off to you mama my favorite nail is this chocolate strawberry, period, hands down. That is my favorite nail. Okay, so let's look at that nail. Okay, let's look at that nail. Let's break it down. You have a red and pink ombre. So she could have just stopped right there. She could have been like, okay, I gave you guys ombre. I'm done. Drops the mic and go home. No, she threw on the strawberries and dipped them things in chocolate. Do you not see that? Do you not see that? <sighs> okay, so now let's move a little bit on. Let's move on. That's my favorite nail, but let's talk about the others. It looks like the middle finger has some 3D art, some 3D bows. I'm definitely here for the bows. I'm definitely here for the bows. And it has all the colors in the collab on that one nail. So I really, really love that nail. I'm really feeling that nail. And then the one next to it, it looks like there's some stamping. So you got 3D art, you got bling, and it looks like you have stamping. So that, and the red that she chose, I love it. Oh, and it also looks like she has some matte, right? The purple the purple nail looks matte. So honey, you got glossy, you got matte, you got stamping, you got 3D art, you got bling, you got them rose petals in the back, you got rubies in the back, you all the way bodied this. This If this was a challenge, you you bodied the challenge, honey. You bodied it. You got it. This is, you hats off to you. You got it. Like, I don't even know. I don't even want to show mines anymore. I don't even want to show my reveal pictures in the end anymore because you took it away you took it away like the whole presentation like i wish i had some red red rose petals and a little ruby heart to throw on mine but i don't okay i don't have that so what can i say i'm not gonna have this presentation at the end i'm not gonna have that but pick you color showed all the way out and i'm here for it thank you for participating thank you everybody that participated in my collab Thank you so much. This video is almost an hour long and it's because of you guys. <laughs> it's because of all the participants that participated in my collab. And I thank you guys so much. I loved everything. I loved everything, everything, everything. Oh my God. Thank you guys again for collabing with me and thank you guys for watching. And if you guys watch this entire 48 minute video, then I know you are a true nail sister and I love you to death. Okay, I'm finally done. Oh, so we looked at everybody else's nail art. Now can we look at mine? I mean, I really don't even want to show it now. <laughs> I don't even want to show it now. <laughs> everybody else had like long, sexy, sleek stilettos and this is what I have. Truth be told, these nails are cute. They are cute and they are true to the theme. I hope you guys liked watching it, but compared to some that I saw, it's like, oh girl, you know? Damn it. I hope you guys liked it anyway. I think they came out adorable. She loves them as well. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. That's all I can say. Even compared to some of the other nail art, I hope you still like mine. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. Don't forget to leave your comment below. Let me know which ones you like the absolute best. I have so many favorites, it's hard to pick. And don't forget to like and share. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, comment, share. Oh, yeah, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.